Hey, what's happening, guys? So I redid the game timer boards. And here they are. Version 2, now in blue. You can see it's much bigger than the last ones. I've corrected my mistakes, I hope. I even put on here so the kid knows what's going on. Green, 21 seconds. Yellow, 6 seconds. Red, 3 seconds. Close enough to 30 seconds, right? Power with the 9 volt battery, and pow! There you go. Let's hop on over to the computer and have a look at what's up with what. Alrighty, before we get started, this video is brought to us by PCB Way. PCB Prototype, the easy way. And there really is some easy ways. You can come over here to this instant quote jobby and go to quick order PCB. Upload your Gerber files, pick your board type, pick your size, come right down through this, bang, you're done in less than one minute. Okay, so here it is, uh, version 2.0. We can look at the, there's the top silk screen, there's the top assembly. Actually, what we can do. We can kind of shut all these off, right? Okay. So here's the top assembly. There's our top silk, solder mask, paste, and there's the top layer. Got it? And then here is the bottom layer with our copper pour. Here is everything all together. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this one works a lot better than the last one did. I'm, I'm pretty confident it will. Let's go over to the bench and build one and uh, see what we get, right? I mean, that's all you can do. You can try. think I've got everything in place we got the clock timer here so we can count how long it takes power is plugged in turn on the power supply and all right we're going hopefully this works as soon as we turn to yellow I hit lap Should be about ready to flip. There we go on yellow and red and back. Okay, so if we look down here at the clock timer, we've got eighth of a second there, so there's 21 seconds, six seconds and three seconds which is exactly what we're supposed to have I'm thinking we might be able to call this one a win now you could add um, a switch to reset it if you want I didn't do that I just put the uh, little power plugs in there with the rolled pin sockets um, let me show you how I did the circuit one more time, just in case you have any questions. If you don't want to see it again, 
you can end the video right here. Because that's pretty much it. Works. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start building this real simple with the 4017. Okay? We're going to assume you know how to make an A stable multi vibrator out of a 555 timer. So let's see. Sometimes I gotta think oh, it's too hard. National Semi. TI? Did TI make. What am I doing? I don't even want that. Okay, I want a diode. And I want 10 of these, so. Start right here. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's ten diodes. The next thing we're going to need are LEDs. So I'm just going to grab one, two, three. And then we are going to need resistor, and we'll just grab one of them like this here, okay? So now we need VCC, which we'll throw up there and ground which we'll throw down there alright that should about do it so we'll hook our VCC up like so don't worry I'm going to fix that and our ground like so I don't know why it does that it does it with every net I draw then what I like to do is come down here to properties and just name my nets right now so I don't forget to do it later. That way when you're doing this, it's a lot easier. Now I'm going to copy this ground here. I'm going to bring it over here. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Remember, this was a problem in my first circuit. I forgot to do that. So then we'll connect our grounds up here like this. Ugh. Isn't that ugly how it does that? Electrically, it makes no difference whatsoever but aesthetically it do make me crazy <laughs> alright so now we go one two three four is that right? one two three four five six seven so that's our green now I use 1k resistors and a 2200 microfarad capacitor to make everything fit and do our timing and whatnot here comes the All right, train. well the train was going I just shortened up my grounds then for this one we have two and for the last one we only have one so that we go from our green to the seven, our yellow to the two, and our red to the one. Just keep in mind that with that um, 1K, 1K, and 2200 microfarad, you're going to get about about three seconds per uh, click of the 555 timer. 
All right, so next we just connect, not that one, that's our carryover. So we start with zero, and all we have to do is connect our outputs to our steering diodes. And Bob's your uncle, right? Although these days, to be politically correct, Bob could have been your uncle. He may now be your aunt. I'm too old for that shit. But I don't want to offend anybody, so whatever. Whatever floats your boat. All right, so without adding in the 555, which obviously goes over here to the clock input, you know, Boop, that goes over to your 555 timer somewhere uh, hey stop that somewhere over there I'm pointing at the screen with my fingers and I know <laughs> I know you can't see that but yeah that's the whole circuit right there that's your diode steering super simple so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all my patrons Big thanks to you for sticking with me, watching these videos, and commenting. It means the world to me. Now get out of here and go make something. That's it. I'm out. Peace.